to Frontai, Suluban, Luatu. We are here at the cave. Actually, it's there. But, okay, we are here. And this is probably the only way to get into the waves. Because if you don't go by this cave here, you need to go paddling from Padang Padang. And it's just like a mile or two. <laughs> it's not so nearby. So this place, uh, it, it completely changes according to the tides. There was one day that we came that it was low tide and there was no water there. There was one day in full moon when it was full tide and it was just like no sand there. <laughs> so today it's just like to have a glimpse, uh, but you can uh, feel a little bit of the turmoil there. When it's really high tide and it, the uh, waves are strong, like a uh, washing machine <laughs> to go there. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, terrifying if you're not used to. If you're used to, it's not so much problem. But today we are going to speak about the rabbit pranayama. Uh, when you're surfing, uh, it's not easy to breathe from your nose. Almost every pranayama in yoga, you breathe from the nose, but uh, there is two, like shitali and shiktali. Oh, this is shiktali and this is shitali. They are breathing from the mouth. And this is going to be a little bit similar. But the point is that when you just like fall down of the wave and the wave is crushing you, smashing you, all the things, you need to recover the air very quickly. So uh, this is a technique that it was not actually learned from a yoga teacher. <laughs> it was learned from an uh, apnea uh, diver for surfers teacher. And it's like this. And you can do a little bit faster also if you And then in this uh, breathing, your tongue goes nearby your teeth. So uh, the air goes uh, on the caves of the mouth, not directly through the throat. So when you are paddling and you're surfing and you're just like without air, this uh, helps you a lot to recover your breath because there is water going through your nose and there is a lot of things happening. And you start. And when the wave is just like bombing you again. And hold to go ducking into the uh, wave. So always remember to protect your um, your throat, there is a dog going on, um, and keep your teeth, your tongue nearby your teeth, okay? So this you can uh, also use to recover your strength after you just like pedal a lot and it works, it's really helpful uh, for these situations where you need a lot of uh, oxygen and prana going to your system quickly, okay? Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. Uh, see you in the next video. Namaste.